Hey YouTube, welcome back to Cassandra's Kitchen where I eat to live and not live to eat. Today I am going to be making a vegan meatloaf roll. So if you're interested in seeing how I do this meatloaf roll, stay tuned and I'll show you. guys so here we're going to be doing a meatloaf roll I was making a meatloaf today um, well happy Easter happy resurrection Sunday I should say um, so I wanted to do a meatloaf today and then I was like hmm what if I do a meatloaf roll like do it like a prepare like a meatloaf and then just stuff it and roll it and put it in the loaf pan interesting right i know i just came up with it i've never done this before so if worst case scenario we'll have meatloaf but i'm attempt to do this meatloaf roll so what i'm going to be using for my meat today i'm going to be using the plant based um beyond beef it's um it has no soy no gluten um 20 grams of protein i don't use a lot of the um processed or plant-based meat alternatives but i've tried this one this tastes more close to ground beef to me um so this is what we're going to be using and we're going to just mix it just like we would our um meatloaf so let's go ahead and get this in here and i'm using two packages because i want it to be a pretty nice loaf so we're going to use this and I'm just going to put in here the normal stuff you would put in a meatloaf. So. And I did bring my gloves today because I'm going to have to use my hands and I don't want all this in my fingers. And so we're going to put on my gloves here. So we can get everything mixed up really well. Although I take my ring off when I'm cooking, so I don't have to worry about getting all that done in my ring. Okay. Voila. So what I'm going to do is just kind of break this up a little bit. It's, um, looks like ground beef in a sense. It looks more like ground beef when you cook it than it does when it's raw like this. So, uh -oh. okay. And so what I have here, what I'm going to be using for my meatloaf, I have some sweet bell peppers, just some green and yellow peppers. I can't hold it. These gloves make everything a little slippery. And I have some onion. And what I did, because I want it to be, I cut them real thin fine so they can roll in here really good so we have onions peppers have a little bit of fresh garlic and what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and use some seasonings I like to use Mrs. Dash because it doesn't have any salt so I'm going to use Mrs. Dash and I like to just take the lid off and you can season it your own Likings, but I'm going to use some Mrs. Dash. And this one is the garlic herb. I'm going to be using some smoked paprika. I'm going to use a little bit of black pepper. But we definitely want our meatloaf to be good and seasoned. I'm going to use a little bit of pink salt. I'm going to use a little bit of my spike seasoning. Okay. We're going to mix this up. And I know with meatloaf, we usually use eggs. So what I'm going to use is a little bit of my uh, flax egg for this. And that's just flax meal with... um. One tablespoon of flax meal with three tablespoons of water. That's equivalent to one egg. And I'll grab a 
grab that and get that in here in just a second. Okay. Just want to work this in here really well to get those seasonings in here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I think this is mixed in here good. Make a little center for my egg. And this is our flax egg. I'm just going to pour that in here. You see how it's kind of mushy like egg? And that's just two, equivalent to two eggs. I'm going to get that in here. And I know some people use breadcrumbs or some type of a bread or chip or something. So what I'm going to use for mine, I just chopped up a little bit of my... Um, organic uh, tortilla shells and I think I've showed you guys these before but um, they're red quinoa they're the red uh, quinoa chia chips by um, wild roots I love these things they are so delicious I keep these at all times with some salsa or hummus they're really good but I'm gonna I just crunched up a little bit of those so I'm gonna put those in here as my breadcrumb and you may not even need that actually but I mean growing up we always would put breadcrumbs in there so here we have it you just give it a little bit more flavor so oh yeah this is mixing up really well so we got all of our seasonings in here what I wanted to add that I don't have right here is just a little bit more of my gar. I didn't chop up enough garlic. So, I'm gonna put just a little bit of my garlic powder in there. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay, yeah. So, this is where we would normally put it in the meatloaf pan. But because I want to try something different. I want to try to stuff this with some mushrooms, some fresh kale, and some smoked gouda cheese. And then put it in the oven and then top it off with some, you know, maybe with some smoked gouda or some barbecue sauce. My husband would probably prefer the barbecue sauce, you know, you can top your meatloaf with basically anything. But I thought this would be very interesting with some smoked gouda, some fresh kale, and mushrooms. So, to do that, we're going to have to get it laid out. So I'm going to use some parchment paper here. And I'm going to use my little loaf pan. So, this is what we're going to attempt to do. Like I said, if it doesn't work, we're going to make meatloaf. What I'm going to try to do is maybe roll this out. So, we'll see. I'm brave to do this for the first time in front of you guys, but hey. I trust y'all. No judgment, right? So, Gonna get this kind of spread it out. Got everything in here. Okay. This is gonna make a good meatloaf, I tell you that. Looks really good. Let's see. This hand is pretty clean. So we have mushrooms, and I'm going to use smoked gouda cheese. I'm just gonna take this off now so I can use my hand. For my cheese. Okay. 
So let's see here. So I'm going to attempt to just kind of layer this with some cheese. I think maybe three pieces would be perfect. Okay. And then we're going to put some mushrooms, which I've sliced and cut up some mushrooms. We're going to put those here. We can do two layers of mushrooms because we like mushrooms. Okay. And we're going to use some kale. This is some kale I've cleaned and washed. I didn't want it to go bad. I used the kale on something else, so I want to get that in here. Okay. Y'all praying for me? Okay. So maybe I should put a little sprinkle of seasoning on top of my kale. I think so. Maybe, can't go wrong with cheese. Let me see. Maybe we do a second layer of cheese. Stuff it. Okay. All right. So, let's see. We're going to try to roll this over. That's why I wanted to use the parchment paper. So we can try to get this rolled up good. Okay. And then we're going to need to make sure it fits in our pan. So we're going to have to bring the sides in just a little bit. Which is fine. Because it's neat. Well, meat, meat, uh, alternative, alternative meat. So, but we can mush that in there. Okay. I think that's going to be the size of our pan. So what we're going to do is try to get this down in our loaf pan. Okay. And I would rather have it you know what no aha i'm making myself try to do too much but i actually want to keep it in the parchment paper so i can take it out when it's done let me see come on meatloaf i think i made it just a little bit too big but we're gonna get this in here See, I, I mean, my idea, I think, is great. I just got to work with this. But I was going to take it off the parchment paper, but then I'm like, no, because I want to lift it out of the pan when it's done. So I don't know why I was going to take it out of the parchment paper, because then we're going to have a hard time getting the loaf out. Okay. Cover it. Okay, we're just going to roll this down because, you know, we can cook with parchment paper and I don't want it to burn in my oven so I can lift it out. Okay, now I got to clean this up. But y'all, I think this is going to turn out good. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed on it. Um... If not, the second time I try it will be good. I'm just, you know, like I said, I am playing around here with something, trying to be creative. It's Easter Sunday, and I wanted to just make something good. My husband did some um, green beans and some potatoes together, and we love his green beans and potatoes. Of course, we didn't video that. 
and I made some cornbread and we're gonna do a little bit of macaroni and cheese um so but I do want to show you guys the meatloaf so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven I'm gonna let this bake probably a good 30 40 minutes in the oven and then once it's prepared and ready to come out and we sauce it I'll bring you guys back on let you see what the meatloaf looks like and hopefully it's what I'm thinking it's gonna be when we cut in it to have that cheese mushrooms and uh, fresh kale along with the peppers and everything on top so stay tuned this is going in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out All right, guys, so it just came out of the oven. I cooked this for about 40 minutes in my oven on uh, 400 degrees. Had to think about it. So we're going to take this out of here. So I'm kind of glad we did use the actual uh, parchment paper so to make it easy to come out of the pan. So what I want to do... I want to slide this out from under here. Okay, here we go. Voila! So that is our meatloaf roll. And what I'm going to do now, let me wipe this off. Then we're just going to top it with some Sweet Baby Ray's um, barbecue sauce. And <clears throat> this has already been warmed up as well. So we're going to just do some Sweet Baby Ray's. And you can put your traditional ketchup and or tomato paste seasoning on top of yours. Um, we're just going to do ours with a little bit of barbecue sauce. Or you can use because we're having mashed potatoes, well not mashed potatoes, we're having the potatoes with green beans, but if you're doing the mashed potatoes, that was originally the plan, but if you do mashed potatoes, you can do gravy. You know, people put gravy on top of their meatloaf, however you like your meatloaf. You can just coat it. It's pretty. And look at it. And then I'm telling you, this meat, um, this Beyond Beef, really cooks up really nice. And it's got the texture of ground beef and it actually tastes really good it doesn't have a weird crazy taste to it so okay just want to get it all around the sides and everything i can't wait to cut into it to kind of see what the middle looks like because y'all remember we put the kale the cheese and the mushrooms on the inside of it so We'll see. And then we just mix the green peppers, yellow peppers and onions and garlic down in the meat itself. So it's loaded with your vegetables. Yes. I think it turned out looking nice. So I know the seasonings and everything are going to be there. I just hope it looks like I'm imagining when we cut down in it to see that kale, the cheese and the mushrooms. I just hope it's kind of how I imagined it. So we'll see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the rest of the things plated up. Like I said, we did do some green beans and potatoes, some macaroni and cheese, and some cornbread. And we're going to use this to pair with all of that. And so I'm going to plate everything up. I'll bring it back and let you see what it looks like and what the end results are and what it tastes like. Okay, so just stay tuned. Give me a moment. All right, guys, we are down to the finish line here. So, like I said, we have prepared um, some green beans and potatoes. This is one of my husband's little signature dishes he used to make. We love his green beans and potatoes. I did a, a vegan cornbread. And I did try the Daya box macaroni and cheese because I wanted to try it. Um, it's the white cheddar blend cheese. So... Uh, it's not homemade. Everything else is. Um, but we're just going to try that. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut our meatloaf. Here we go. Moment of truth. 
to kind of see what it looks like. It's moist. It's juicy. Okay. Not bad. Let me see. Let y'all see this. So I don't know if you can see it or not. But you see the kale in there is cooked good. You got the cheese. And we got the mushroom. So it turned out really good. Like I said, it's real moist and juicy. But this is my cooking, it's my opinion. So I have to have someone taste it for me. And look, it holds to, it holds together really nice. So we're gonna put that there. A little bit of extra of the kale. And so this is the plates. Voila! Sunday dinner. The meatloaf looks good and juicy. So I'm actually going to call my assistant in here to help me, Mr. Coleman. Yes. Can I have your help, please? Yes, you may. My favorite time, y'all. <laughs> Yay. So I want you to taste this, but I do want to get a picture of it before. Because I'm going to use this picture for my channel. There's my channel photo. Because this is cute. Let me make sure it's working, y'all. Y'all know I'm extra, sorry. Okay. So, here is the moment of truth. So, what do you think? It looks delicious. Well, I already know your potatoes and greens are going to be it good. looks real good. Looks oh, good. my goodness. And do you need a knife for the meatloaf or you just want to use No, nah, I can just chop into it's it with this. It's with moist, this. right? Yes, it looks really good. And the cheese and the so, peppers and everything in there. Moment of truth, y'all. I got enough seasoning. Oh yeah. This is really good, y'all. Really good? Yes, just beyond beef uh meat here. Tastes just like hamburger. The texture and everything. And a little bit of smoked gouda. What do you think? The Did smoked gouda. Work for it. I'm, I'm checking it out now. Give me a second here. Trying to get some of that in the mushroom. Let's see what we got, y'all. So I put it all together here. It's really good. It's good. Really good. It looks good. I, I just. It's amazing. <laughs> I can keep eating if you want me to. <laughs> well. You want to try it? <laughs> I'll taste it. It really is good, y'all. She did a great job making mm -hmm. this meat though. On this Easter Sunday, you know? Mm. Mm. It is good. It's really moist. I'm going to try some of this macaroni here. And your peppers and everything in here. That's really good. Mmm. Yeah, I'm ready to sit down and yeah. eat now. This diet cheese, it's the first time I had it. You know, I, it's the first time I've ever seen really like white, you know, shell noodles. But it's not bad. It's okay, but... It ain't like mama's macaroni and cheese, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not like mine. Right, not like yours, but... Yeah, let me taste it. This, I, this is our first time trying this diet yeah. box cheese, so... I always make everything from it's scratch. It's a little different. I mean, it tastes like cheese, but the white... I guess the white shells is what... I guess what gets me. I mean, it's like... It's like a white shell. Yeah. It's not bad, but it's not... I probably wouldn't buy it again. Oh, well, can't say that. I may if I just wanted something quick and simple. But I'm so used to cooking everything from scratch. Right. That's probably why. Yeah. But it's not bad. It's not so bad. if you try it, they had it in the yellow cheese too. Um, you can try, but try the cornbread because the cornbread is um homemade, and you know when you don't use egg and things like that, and you're substituting, like I did, like um buttermilk with the almond milk with the you know the um apple cider vinegar to make my um, buttermilk, and then I used the flax yeah. eggs. The cornbread is not bad. I mean, it's really good. Okay. I mean, it's, it's cornbread, you know. Okay. Well, so, there yeah, you have really it. Good. We really was on here for the meatloaf. So, but I wanted to do the presentation with our whole dish tonight. So, try the meatloaf recipe. Yes. Let me know if you like it. It's really good, y'all. It really it, is. The meatloaf is on the point. Meat the meatloaf is off the chain. It's really good. It's on point. You so, know? yeah. Try it. You it's know beautiful. what to do. If you like this video. 
Give me a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Give me a thumbs up. up. And share this video, yes, of course. Share, share with friends and family because hey, someone may like this recipe. Like I said, the meat, um, the Beyond Meat, you can get it from Target. You can get it from Kroger. Oh, yes, Kroger. Kroger, you can get it mm -hmm. from Sprouts. You can get it from Whole Foods. A lot of places are starting to carry it now. Yeah. It's just a package. Um, meat, like I said, it's ground the, meat, ground, you know. It's the ground meat alternative. Right. So no soy, uh, gluten-free. So try it out. Um, and then share this video, like I said, and then subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. But again, we want to wish you all a happy Easter, a yes. happy Resurrection Sunday. Yes, happy Easter, y'all. And pray that your family and you all are blessed yes. just as we are. Yes. And from our kitchen to yours until next time, bye-bye. Be bye. blessed now.